What it do, Geek Gang? What it do? Up by Geek Folks, Tokyo Art Put Up. And Jay. What's up? I am Lady. That was crazy. I was crazy. I hope you're good. I'm back. Nah. But anyway. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be talking about. And all the stairs. And out. And out. So let's go. Yeah, let's talk about it. All right, let's go. All right, so the story itself, um, it, 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 it was a fun but for me. It was like a, a okay, but it seemed like it was something that was already used. The story itself was already used. Uh, how do you, okay, what do you mean? So the first story, the, how the setup of the story is, it, it kind of seemed like Justice League. Where you you know you had um, Dark Side in a different in his world and he's trying to get on her yes a, a bunch of yes shit you know what I mean so it kind of had that feel to it yes and also with Thanos we don't even though Thanos with with Thanos he you actually see him in the press but you actually see him in hat mm-hmm. but it kind of felt like 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 um. Like dark side, dark side. Yes. You know what I mean? I, com- so. I completely I didn't I didn't realize that that's what it felt like mm-hmm. until you just said that. Yeah. Because you see Null at the beginning, mm-hmm. you see Null at the end, and if you didn't see the end credits, you there was an end credit with him. Mm-hmm. But that was it. And you barely even saw like his fate. Yeah. And like I had to look him up, like, what is this character about? What does this character look like? Cause it annoyed me actually that you had like a humanoid looking alien mm. sending out completely looking alien yeah you know I, I wanted to know more about him you didn't see nothing you didn't hear nothing you didn't know really that much exactly and and to, to be fair with you I have I've not I've not read anything on um venom nor I don't know much about nothing mm. you get what I'm saying so I'm just trying to be fair and clear with with everything but just, I'm not used to this no, and, and I'm not used to the stomach. And you know that, that that that's a problem, I think. Yeah. Because for you to even have almost no knowledge of what's supposed to be the main villain of the fucking story uh-huh. makes no sense whatsoever. So it makes none. So like I actually had to look him up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So your point is well taken as far as one of the drawbacks of the story. Well, the thing about it is that Rex um, the story, the, 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 in the actual idea of having Rex, sending on Rex to get Venom, that was one story. And then another story was with, 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 um, with Null sending his minions to get Venom. Mm-hmm. I think what they should have done is just stick with uh, Null sending his, his Agreed. Brain. Agreed. You know, and, um, you know, they're like destroying the world to find Venom, to find Venom. And Venom is like, you know, trying to defend the Earth or some sort of superhero shit. You know what I mean? I and, agree. And what what happened is that it's like everything is kind of um, intertwining with Rex send, um, trying to get trying to get um, trying to get the Venom and his symbiote, whatever. And at the same time, Null is sending his minion. So it everything kind of collided, and you're not sure or it's like you're into one decision of this. You're into mm-hmm. one part of the story, and then another part is kind of taking you away from. Yes, so comes kind of, you know, it's kind of confusing, um, and I just didn't like that. Like I, I listen. We're we're hearing that because I feel like the Area Fifty One. I actually thought that was a better story. Yeah, the Area Fifty One part. Mm-hmm. Um, I did not care for even. Rex Strickland's character as far as like them needing to get Venom yeah. and Eddie Brock. Yeah. I actually really would have liked development on the other symbiotes mm-hmm. past the final battle scene. Mm-hmm. Now, granted, we got, and from what I understand, they actually weren't named, but in, in kind of researching Mulligan's character, his symbiote was Toxin, or supposed to be Toxin. toxin. Okay. Um, Christmas character, her symbiote was supposed to be Latcher. 
and Payne's character, the one that got by the lightning, yeah. was supposed to be at right? So like well, you don't know I never that. knew that. I never knew that. You see what I'm saying? So they had a lot of different things that could have been really cool things to flesh out that you're just left hanging. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And 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 I think what they're trying to do, because clearly, even though you know that this is Eddie Brock last dance, mm. and also supposedly Venom, because even the post credit scene, it's not about a survival of Venom symbiote, but a part of agony symbiote. Mm. However, like it left it so much in the in, in the in the air. Like you definitely feel like something has to be res resolved mm -hmm. in Spider Man because it's just a natural fit as far as where this could go. Because if it doesn't go into Spider Man, I don't know what the fuck it's gonna go. Yeah, I and you know, there's another thing with with Venom that I didn't like was the fact that um, you had some small instances that we had like just in the movie itself. Um, there was this scene where he was in the river and, you know, was riding the horse. And something happened where he fell in the river. Okay. And then all of a sudden you see like the soldiers there hunting him. And I'm like, who the fuck they know that he was there? Listen, I had to do mental gy You are not, mm, you are not lying. I had to do mental gymnastics about that. Cause I can't, cause, but I also had to do mental gymnastics about how did they even know to look for... How, how did they even know that Venom was a codex? Did they know that Venom was a codex before he left that so, area? Uh -huh. And I don't know if that was said. Mm -hmm. I at least kind of got to understand that I guess it's a hive mind mentality. And then also once he really bonded with Eddie Brock. Um, no, I can't say bonded with Eddie Brock. Once he became Venom in Eddie in Brock, yeah. that's how they tracked him as far as that creature. But then if he became venom with the horse when he became venom with the frog and everything else you he wasn't tracking it and i thought that that was like an inconsistency inconsistency in the story okay even even eddie killing that officer not officer but eddie killing that um that army person and he's like i i killed somebody yeah and it was resolved so quickly and i don't mean the fact that like he killed somebody because we know he's been killing characters at least criminal. Mm -hmm. And I guess from a analytical standpoint, okay, they're criminals, fine, whatever. But from a person's standpoint, it's like, oh, I killed someone who may not deserve to die. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And they could have explored that and did not. Exactly. And what also bothers me is the fact that they still haven't allowed Eddie Brock to control Venom. It's like Venom is controlling Eddie Brock. And I, mm -hmm. I, I don't, I don't like that because, okay, fine. Um, they, I, he, he is in a situation where he is um, being hunted down, and the only way to, to to know that Venom is Venom is if he is in his full form. Okay, why can't you control that Eddie Brock? That why can't they let Eddie Brock the character? control that part of Venom. Why can't they just do that? And the way how they have, the way they have it, it's like, it seems like, even though there's an alien in Eddie Brock's body, it's like he has total control over, over Eddie Brock's movements or whatever the case is. So, it's like, uh, I don't know, I didn't like it. Maybe it's something that is canon for the, the comics. I, as I said, I've never yet read um a venom comic before so i wouldn't know but that just annoyed the fuck out of me and also just the fact that it 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 became so annoying that actually looked like a live action card just with <laughs> it just seriously does okay. you know what i mean and it just it just bothered me yo. i just i was like what the fuck i i felt like there were times that he could that he could control better yes. in small glimpses mm. but the fact that I can't say that definitively I think goes to your point yeah he, it, it it bothered me oh. I, I couldn't stand it I didn't like it and just there was just too much comic just too much funny oh you're, you're you're not going to get away from that I, I do not like it you're not you weren't getting away from that I, I did not like it I didn't like it I just I didn't like it 
I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I think that I, was kind of. You do that? Then. I did not like that, bro. And as I say, it started looking like a freaking cartoon. You know, like you will have like cartoon use their characters to look out, look funny. Yeah. You know, when it did started doing all of that shit. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And it was it, especially with the casinos, the casino thing when they saw Miss Mrs. Miss, Miss J- no. See, I was actually okay with the casino scene, even though, again, I felt like almost all the time that you were, you, when they would go to Eddie and Venom, I understood why they were doing it. It's for character, for, for fleshing out the character and also giving you your last bulk of that character. Yeah. yeah. Okay, of those characters. Yeah. But it also felt like you were just deviating so much from what was supposed to be going on. Yeah. With that being said, I did like the casino scene. That first part of the casino scene, I did not like, because again, to me, it went against internal film logic of Venom being like, you know what, let's just dance. I know that that thing could come literally at the speed of light. Because mm-hmm. once he became Venom Venom, yeah. that thing was like, oh, a thousand miles away, I yep. can be there in two seconds. Like, yeah. So it made no sense that you're like, you know what, I'm going to get this last dance yeah. in. I mean, I felt like he should have gotten that last dance in through Eddie yeah. and not himself. Mm-hmm. But I did like the casino. I thought it was kind of cute. I thought it was it was kind of endearing. I also get, especially at that moment when these, these, um, these, these monsters are hunting them. I think they should have been on a, on a and, and that goes back to what I'm saying from the beginning. I think everything for that movie should have been about these monsters hunting them down. Yeah. You know what I mean? It should have directly been about that, but. And not about a random family. Exactly. Where that almost kind of, that kind of didn't was go anywhere. Next thing. That was that next thing. Yeah, because that kind of didn't go anywhere. Like, no, it did. It did within the movie. It didn't go anywhere with any his character. And I felt like that's what they were supposed to do. Yeah. Because you literally had the movie stop. Mm-hmm. Once he woke up, it's like he wakes up, he looks at the Statue of Liberty, says, I'm never going to forget you. Bam. End of movie. Mm-hmm. I'm like, that is the most abrupt way. Yeah. To end this, mm. like you could have had something more yeah. where that would have pulled in some of the time with that family to make that family relevant. I never liked it. Because <laughs> when they weren't there at Area 51, everything that they could have done, you could have had that to um, pain and you could have had that to Christmas. You could have had it to those characters exactly. to do those things. Exactly. I don't see the reason to have a family. In it. Yeah. This, yeah. This, this freaking family that the father is so excited for for um for the um the Iliad site. Mm-hmm. It just didn't make and it just didn't, it wasn't connecting with the movie. It just kind of steered it away a little bit for you to kind of you know. It just didn't. I, I, I don't know. I, just too much things that was going on with this movie. I actually think that they should have actually with the story. I should say that movie. Yes, I think that they should have actually left once he was in Vegas. He could have shown his symbiote. Yeah. to fulfill that parent mm-hmm. because really the way that the, the kids started meshing with the parents I was like that's fake because you you had them at at odds the entire first part of the story so to have them like oh, well yeah dad you really did it I'm like that was fake mm-hmm. if you would have just left it alone to say here you have made me realize what I need to realize right and then I am going to fulfill your fantasy of mm-hmm being near or next to or seeing yeah. an alien I think that would have been a perfect bow yes and then you didn't need them at all mm-hmm. having them in the third act made no sense yeah but you knew that it was gonna happen because I can't remember the actor's name but that actor is known yeah you see what I'm saying you've, you've seen him in a lot of stuff mm-hmm. so I'm like yeah we this is not the last time mm-hmm. the other one was heavy hand like it's not goodbye yeah it's goodbye for now like <laughs> we don't know you're coming back uh, whatever, man. Um, of course, with this movie, I solidly give it the storage, so I solidly give it a four out of ten. Um, I, I, I think they should have given it a whole different approach, mm-hmm. where the, the the minions, um, they should have been the focal point of the story, trying to get 
uh, venom symbiote. And for the other symbiotes, they literally connect with whoever and they combine, come together and try to defeat these minions that probably, um, you know, scattering all over the globe just to find the um, venom. Yeah. It should have been something like that. Apparently it wasn't, and I was, you know, I'm, I'm never a fan of Venom, both one and two. I think it was just too quirky, it was corny, too much comedy, um, especially for a monster type thing. Um, it, it just didn't appeal to me. Um, I'm not a big fan of Venom, so the movie didn't really mean much to me. So it, for me, I, I kept that again, the story of war. So... I'm gonna go a little higher. Um, I I watched the first two, mm-hmm. and so I was prepared for this. And I thought that, in retrospect and then in comparison, also that this one was absolutely better than the first one, mm-hmm. which I would have actually given maybe a four or five to be. Good. Mm-hmm. And so, the second one, I enjoyed. I don't know if it was better, but I enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, and realized that it was also faulty. Mm-hmm. So this one, I, I think, because it had potential in its story, I'm gonna go higher with a six. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Am I regretting that? You are. <laughs> yeah, six. That's a lot. I'm gonna sit on my seat. I'm sitting on my seat. <laughs> I forgot. That's a six, baby. That's a six. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, I, I guess that's it for the story. All right. Yeah. What's his name, man? No. Yes. Um. So for the acting, acting is um. I I definitely have to give it to to um to Tom Hardy. He embodies Venom. Um. I think he did well in terms of um transcribing his acting with being Eddie Brock and being um, a part of Venom. So he had to like be himself, put himself in this comedic role of, you know, Venom um, in his body, but at the same time trying to be serious. So I, I think it's kind of too character build up for him and he, he did okay for it. For the most part, I, I definitely would, um, you know, I would definitely would give him a thumbs up for his acting role for Eddie Brock. In this. Thumbs, thumbs to the side. And it's story, mm. um, I consider the way that he acted in this movie almost akin to, let me think now, I, ca- I cannot think of her name. She was, um, the lead, she was the Nancy in the um, 2010 Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh-huh. Um, I can see her face as clear as day. I just cannot remember that child's name. But the actress who played that, mm-hmm. she slept walk through the damn film. And I felt like he did the same. He was absolutely boring to watch. Okay. I, I, I did not bond with it at well. I thought that there were times where he could have emoted. I thought that there was times where he could have showed emotion and he just was like, yep, I'm just going to deliver you these lines. Yeah. I'm going to deliver you these lines. I got paid already. So this is what you're going to get. Mm. I feel you. I feel you. Also, um, everybody else uh, was okay. Yeah. Also, another person that I, I believe he is a really good villain is, um, what's his name? Edgar Ford. Chueta. Man, first of all, he don't. Sure. He is a vampire. He has not aged. And, uh, no. He is not aged. Uh, he, 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 of course, you know him from Doctor Strange as well. Mm-hmm. Um, he was really he. he I remember. Him, I think he was in he, Four Brothers. I think that was his his first one. Yeah, but yeah, it gets our kids. Continue. I was no, thinking. No, he he's really good as a villain. Um, I I, I don't see him as a good guy. Period. I see him as a villain. Everything that he does, even if it's going to be like a comedy, I see him as a fucking villain. Yeah. I don't give a shit. I mean, first of all, I mean, to me, his best turn as a villain was when he was in Serenity. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, and again, if you look at the way he presents himself, I'm like, yo, bro, you almost have not aged. You look the same. same way. The scene, the I'll fountain do of that. you and Bianca Lawson. How do you come do that? To the, to the front of the congregation. But anyway. That is crazy, you know what I mean? And, you know, of course, um, I, I give I give the acting for both of those guys a, a, a six. A six out of ten. I mean, you felt like you, what you said does not, to me, does not deem the six. What you no, said. I, I, no, you know, as I tell you, I'm, I'm not a big fan of Venom. But to me, I think Tom Hardy did well with the character itself. Um, as Eddie Brock and as Eddie Brock being possessed by Venom. Venom, Venom Sim. So yes, I, I can give him that. But as, as overall, I still do not like Venom. I don't like I, I'm not a big fan. Of the movie? Of the movie. Yeah. Too. So the acting, I can give him that. Um, I give him a six. No, you know what? Forget it. I give him a seven. Just to, just for the fact that he embodies the, the idea of, of um, Eddie Brock and the, the Venom. So I'm going to give it a seven, not because of what you said. I'm going to give it a seven because it should be higher if I actually enjoyed Eddie Brock. I mean, if I, if I enjoyed Tom right. Hardy. No, Tom, no, Tom Hardy. Because I think everybody else was fine. Yeah, I, everyone is fine. Every, just. And, and I think that's, to me, that's why it is a seven. It brings it down because Tom Hardy, I think, single-handedly alone brings it. Oh, okay. I got you. Okay. So, seven, seven. Yeah, for different reasons, though. Man, the action was out of this world. Yeah, it wasn't that at all. Um, yeah, it was out of this world. Uh, mm. Action scenes, of course, the the, the 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 last scene of the movie, the last thirty minutes. Yeah, well, of the movie was pretty much. Oh, it was crazy. I you know, know what I mean? But the, as I said, the only thing that kind of pushed me away is the fact that. These symbiotes, they were fighting this fucking minion and they couldn't kill it. it. It couldn't die. Why? It reminded me of a final boss that had several phases of the same output character. Like, it's not the phase like they change actual structure, mm -hmm. but just like health bars. Mm -hmm. Like it had, it must have had a health bar of 10 million Lord. because no matter what the hell, you did to this thing, kid, was unstoppable. And then I started to just get bored by watching it. Yeah, because... Yeah. All right, so what, what, what y'all gonna do? Yeah, what you be shooting do? it. They shooting it, and it's still not dying. It's like, uh, okay. And, and now it's one of them things. The, yeah. the, the, the explosion actually worked. I know that they put, like, like that's sulfur it. acid, that's like, something like that. Right. Yeah. And I'm like, I hope that's gonna stop, because I'm like, you were in... A plane... Like I said, it's not a rotor, but I don't remember what it's called. Yeah. So you were in a plane rotor... Twisted up and chopped up, mm. fell from millions of feet in yeah. the sky. Yeah, he was like, yeah. that, was that, that was my Tuesday. Yeah. You're, 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 you're transformed into what I'm in. Yeah, and keep going. Yeah, I, I, you know, I truly believe that how oh, they should have had that movie was a lot of the minions was around trying to find Venom, and it's just a fighting match between the Venom and these minions. Yeah. And then just add those other symbiotes that, that was in the lab. Let them have whoever they're, they're possessed with. And let, you know, all of the symbiotes combine together and, you know, fight as much as, of these as possible to try to protect Venom. It should have been something. And then he, here's, here's another thing also. Because it also really comes into question Venom's power. Yeah. If he was having trouble with Drake, mm -hmm. if he was having trouble with Carnage, mm -hmm. you mean to tell me he was able at the end to hold four of these motherfuckers down and 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 hold them together mm -hmm. to give into an after Man. <laughs> like you 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 gonna tell me that he actually had that capacity naturally, yeah. but couldn't beat really like Carnage and Venom? Yeah, I know. I mean Chris, but and, and and Drake. Uh, I forgot what 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 his was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. O only Christmas, only Christmas's um, symbiote was going on with thing. Like she, no, she got knocked out though. Yeah, but her symbiote was 
was doing the work and that makes was putting in work and, and see, everything else was getting put up. and see 